The people negatively judging the Wii U based on its alleged spec sheet are foolish. And the reason that is is because they're judging the Wii U from the standpoint that having the best theoretically possible horsepower, the best theoretically possible graphics is what makes a system the best system or a worthwhile system. Meanwhile, every console generation since the early 90s and arguably much earlier has proven the exact opposite. Time and time again, we see that having the best horsepower doesn't mean you have the best games or the best support or the best success. I mean, if you owned a PlayStation 2 as your main system in the sixth generation, then I don't see how you have any right to talk about the Wii U as being a, an inferior system when you spent the entire sixth generation enjoying games on the least powerful system that turned out to be the best system overall because of the support it had, because of its actual, it, the games it had, and the su third party support it had. I find it personally hilarious because for the entire sixth generation, millions of well-informed, traditional, hardcore gamers who wouldn't, a lot of whom wouldn't even consider touching Nintendo system, were still perfectly happy playing their games on a technologically inferior system because the games were a superior experience and the selection was superior to what was available on the other systems. And for the whole generation, no one had to make excuses for Sony having the least powerful system. They just said, hey, it has the best selection of games and the best, you know, range of, of game variety. And, but now that the PlayStation 3 is the most powerful system, and now power is all that matters. Power, power, horsepower, the graphics, HD, 1080p. And then, so we have Nintendo coming out with a system that's, more powerful than the PlayStation 3, we haven't even seen the games for it yet. We've seen a few tech demos. We haven't even seen the games on the Wii U yet, really. But and oh, the Wii U is gonna suck. The Wii U is gonna suck. The graphics are gonna suck. It's not gonna be powerful enough. It's not more powerful enough than the PlayStation 3 because we're going to compare the Wii U before you've even seen seen its games in action properly. We're, we're gonna negatively compare it to something that other systems that don't exist yet that we know even less about than we know about the Wii U. But the Wii U is not powerful enough because having the best games and the, is all about having the best graphics and the best possible horsepower. Meanwhile, we're talking about a system that's more powerful than the system that we're playing now. And whereas in this previous generation of that, if you owned a PlayStation 2, you were playing on the least powerful system. Am I the only one who remembers that when Resident Evil 4 was ported to PlayStation 2, it was praised in magazines as being only as having only somewhat inferior graphics to the place to the GameCube version. Does anyone, does anyone remember that when they were talking about how, wow, they ported the Resident Evil 4 to the PlayStation 2, and it only looks a little worse than the GameCube version. The GameCube was known for having for being more visual graphically proficient than the PlayStation 2. And which system was became the system of choice for those die-hard, terminally hip gamers? The least powerful system, because it had the better, the selection of games that best appealed to them. But honestly, I'm curious if all you care about in your game experience is having the best graphics possible, then what are you doing playing consoles that have been out for six and seven years and are effectively obsolete in terms of their horsepower compared to what you could build on a PC. You could go out right now today and build your own gaming system with with performance equivalent to a theoretical PlayStation 4 or 5. It'll cost you. There won't be that many games that can maximize that system to its full potential. But if all you care about are graphics and you're going to get upset at Nintendo because their system isn't, you know, four times as powerful as HD systems currently available, then what are you doing waiting? And you're now playing something that's, you know, si you know, six years out of date, effectively. And when you're going to be waiting another two or three years to buy something else that's going to 
be stagnate and be that same system for another seven year cycle. It just doesn't make sense. It literally just doesn't logically compute that you'd be upset about the Wii U for being only 50% more powerful than the most powerful system available now when you're going to go wait another two years in the meantime playing on a system that's now basically obsolete in terms of the best possible horsepower not that the games don't look nice and then invest in something that is going to remain that's going to be obsolete for the most of its cycle compared to what you could already get on a PC system. It doesn't make sense. So if you played the PS2 and enjoyed it, and if it was, a, you know, there was the system of choice in the sixth generation. And so if you enjoyed the PS2 then, and now you're going to talk about how the Wii U is not going to be as good as the competing eighth gen systems, because it's probably not going to be as powerful then I don't, I don't know what you're thinking. I'm going to judge the Wii U based on its games and what I, what I experienced while playing while I'm behind the controller. I, you guys, I don't know. It's like you made this fantasy world for yourself where power is all that matters, whereas in the PlayStation 1 and 2 basically proved that having the most horsepower and you know the best polygon count isn't what makes your system awesome. 